Today, we are gonna start automating this fish room. First step by automating is drilling holes in the tank for the drain. That's what we're doing today. Let's go. This is Paul the Inventory King. It'd be awesome if you guys could subscribe. Today, again, we're gonna be drilling these aquariums in the fish room to automate it so that we got daily water changes in here by itself. This is gonna be great. Now there's a few items that you can buy that are gonna make your life easy. Here's the first one. This is a guide that I bought off of Amazon. I'll have a link down below. What this is gonna do, obviously, it's got a suction cup right here, and this is going to be suction cup to the glass, and it's gonna be your guide so that you stay nice and straight when drilling, because if you don't have one of these, that bit could jump everywhere. Another thing you are gonna need is a diamond-coated drill bit, a hole saw for drilling glass. I got this on Amazon as well. It'll be in the description, a link, but you'll need one of these, and it's gotta be the diamond-coated bit. Let's drill. And I'm just using this as my guide as far as where to place it. So let's place that thing now. Okay, so the reason I have this here is so that I can go and keep it wet. So it's always going to stay wet. That's a little high, so we're going to go ahead and turn that down. Perfect. All right, the moment of truth. Now we just unscrew that a little bit to get the bit inside. All right, so went and got some Teflon tape on here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy in. All right, then we want to get this seal wet. You know, make sure this is wet around here. Obviously, that goes there. So before we uh, continue on with the video, I wanted to show you guys some of the fish in here. We haven't seen these guys in a little while. These are the Petrochromis Red Blue Points. You can see that they are still doing well. Look at that guy hiding up there in the heater. <laughs> but they're uh, all still doing well, 10 and all. And uh, you know, just growing out. That's what they're doing is growing out. There's another one right here. These the guys are gonna be awesome once they got full size. Here's uh, another one that I wanted to show you guys. Haven't seen these guys in a little while. This is the uh, Lepturus Green. Actually, uh, that's the mom too. Big, big, big female. She's gigantic. But yep, the Lepturus Green Fry are doing well. They're about ready to go into their own tank. You can see that uh, the egg sacs are almost gone. That's going to be amazing. There's those left turds green. Look at those guys. And this guy is gigantic.
check out the blaze on the Z-Rock here. I know he's one of the uh, favorites. Such an awesome fish. So I had to treat this tank for bacteria. There was a fish that got picked on pretty bad and had some bacteria problems, so I just treated the whole tank. Check out the uh, tangerine tiger. If any of you guys want a tangerine tiger, this guy's from the cichlid shack. The fins on this guy are absolutely insane. I am just, uh, it's, yeah, don't know what to say. <laughs> There's another one, goldfin borlei. Look at the pelvic fins. That is unreal. I know another favorite is uh, the phoenix here. Wanted to just show him off. Got some awesome color on him. The triple S breeder hawk. Aw yeah. And uh, these guys are still sleeping a bit. This is the hawk fry. Doing good, doing good. Man, oh man. The dude is huge. So yeah, I just wanted to share some of the fish with everybody. Now uh, let's get back to the video. This is gonna be the first part of automating this fish room. There are gonna be more parts to this after this video. We're gonna be doing the water system, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget that that's coming up to complete this awesome, awesome build. So now we're working on a 125 and what I ended up doing was I hooked up the water like this so that it's it's easier. I don't have to hold it and water is just flowing down here. You can see it coming off my finger. So we are good to go on this one. Okay, we got all of the overflows in. You can see, there it is. It's got the screen on top, so the water's always gonna be right at the level of uh, the bottom of that screen, so it's never gonna overflow and always be right there. We got this one. We got that one. That one. That one. That one. It's a mess in here right now. <laughs> There's that one. That one. That one. And that one. Man, I am so excited to be automating this fish room. It's gonna be awesome to have things being done on their own. 
That is what I'm looking forward to. Comment down below, everybody. What do you guys think? Is this worth it in your opinion? Is this something you would try? If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd be honored if you could click that subscribe button and join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. Leave your comments down below. I answer all your comments. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tanked.